All right. Okay. So the next speaker is uh, Yunjin Shin, uh, talking about star formation variability as a probe for the baryon cycle within galaxies. So please go ahead. Hello. Can you hear me well? Uh, because usually my voice is really small. Yeah. Yes, I'm Eunjin Shin. I'm a graduate student in SNU and working with Jim Kim. Today I'm going to talk about uh, star formation variability can be a pro for the Baron cycle within the galaxy. And this week, uh, work is done with Sandra Takela and Karthek uh, Yeo, who is sitting there. And uh, also, he will give a talk tomorrow, and also Jim Kim. Uh, Yes, so I will start with these figures because I'm Korean and may, maybe you might know Korean are really sensitive to trends and I will follow the trends. <laughs> yes. and so, yeah, so this figure, oh, can, there is, is there any? So this figure explains the Baron cycle in galaxies and uh, uh, in and out of the galaxies, and usually this that part explains the galaxy uh, gas cycle inner galaxy. Uh, there are model that explains the um, baryon cycle, and I brought one of the model uh, that is the uh, gas reservoir model. That uh, this model explains that using a very simple mass conservation law. Um, it explains the get baryon cycle in galaxies. And what I want to emphasize, huh, thank you. Uh, what I want to em emphasize is that uh, in this equation, except for the uh, inflow of inflow term, these three terms are related, all related with the star formation. So recycling and star formation, this is the sink term and this is the outflow. These all three are related with star formation. So we can say that uh, to understand the galaxy evol evolution, that we should understand the connection between star formation and baryon cycle. So how can we study about the star formation history? Actually, Chapler and Takela proposed a very clever idea, uh, that is the Fred transformation. So since the Fred tra transformation quantifies the uh, power of the signal in a specific frequency range. And we know that the GMC physics or supernovae physics are related with 10 mega year scale. And we know that merger or cosmic accretion is about one giga year scale. So the, since the pre, pre transformation is really effective to show the impact of each scale. So it's very useful tool to estimate the impact of physics on a specific scale. And uh, Takela, 2010, proposed that uh, an analytical model using the gas regulator model and uh, using the exact solution of previous equation and also using the random motion analysis, he proposed a uh, PSD of PSD model, and also uh, this regulator model usually explains the galaxies uh, between the halo and galaxy scale. But this model extends to the GMC scale. So regarding the birth and uh, destruction of the GMC, so now we understand the GMC, uh, the galaxy star formation history from GMC to uh, cosmic range. And Ayer studied, Ayer et al. studied about the PSD of star formation history of various galaxy in simulated and model universe. So this six shows the uh, cosmological hydrodynamic simulation result of Result and left one is the star formation history and the right one is the PSD of that. And these six are the zoom in simulation and semi analytic model and empirical model. And uh, this shows that very great convergence in the longer time scale, while 
the slope in the high frequency scale, small time scale varies very significantly between the si simulation. And this, and now we can ask that how the PSD feature correlates with the underlying physical processes. And this, re this question might relate with how the stellar models impact on the star formation variability. Oh. And for, to study the inner galaxy uh, structure and inner uh, baryon cycle, we tested two axes of that um, feed, feedback energy, and we changed the feedback energy and both to total ratios. And we tested in a single uh, galaxy, uh, Milky Way mass galaxy, with these different cases. And uh, yes, we used gizmo, gizmo codes. And uh, yes, this is our setup. And this is the summarize of the feedback simulation. Uh, for the higher feedback, we can see that hotter ISM, and also this shows the gas density. We can see that the more fulcon or less dense uh, ISM is accepted. Uh, and this figure shows that the spiral strength, and we can see that this is decreased by the feedback strength. And also, we counted the number of clumps. And this is also decreased by the feedback strength. And these results are uh, well, with, well matched with the other research. And uh, so the feedback efficiently decreased the number of clumps. And also, the spiral arm shape also become diluted and more suppressed. And this is the Bose test. And uh, we can see that the spiral arm shape is varied by the birds to total ratio. So we set the same total stellar mass, uh, so, but different Bose mass. So the ratio is different. And we can see that the spiral arm strength is uh, decreased by the both to total ratio, and also we can see that the number of clumps are decreased by the both strength. This is because that uh, for a higher verge, the center have deep poten gravitational potential, and this results in the uh, tidal force, great uh, great tidal pull force, which effectively destroy and tears the dense part like clumps or spiral arms. So the number of spiral arm changed by the both strength and also the number of the clumps are changed by the both strength. So now we are going to study about the variant cycle in galaxy. Uh, first, we to study the Baryon cycle, we consider about the individual gas density history. Maybe for during the galaxy evolution, uh, some gas are in dense, some gas are by diffuse, and some gas will be outflow, and some gas might inflow. And my, mainly, there are many particles hard to identify. Then, how can we? classify this different cycle of gas in the galaxy. Actually, we used UMAP algorithm. This is also from, uh, introduced yesterday by Marx. And so this is basically the uh, classification algorithm uh, using dimension destruction, uh, dimension uh, I, I, I forgot the 
Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, so using this algorithm, we uh, classify the gas density cycle. And we also divide it by uh, divided this in different regions. And I plotted this, uh, so I plotted the gas density in different class, classes. So this part, uh, this part presents the very dense region and uh, there are very good trends in this direction. And uh, the, can you, uh, maybe this line presents the time of the time of the particle become two stars and this shows the outflows outflow time of the gas particle. And this shows the gas temperature and uh, reversely the core uh, this blue part shows very low temperature while Fire and diffuse have component of uh, some period of very uh, 10 to the 4 temperature Kelvin and uh, we can see that there are three phases in temperature uh, around 10 to the 2, 10 to the 4 and it's hard to see but 10 to the 6. So, uh, and one thing we can see is that the oscillation uh, period is very rapid in this core column because this is very dense region, so it has very short cooling time while uh, we can see very smooth uh, circle, smooth cycle in spiral and diffuse because it has longer time, so it oscillates very smoothly. Yes, and also we can see that the trends uh, of this blue, blue and stars and outflow are similar to each other. And this is the radius of each classes. We can see that uh, uh, in blue region, we can see two parts. These are the core parts and this is clump, which, is, which have group, uh, group of similar trajectory and also dense and spiral and outflow and scar has that part that means that these are in same group and we can also see that the different density group have different region of the radius in the galaxy so Uh, and this shows the individual gas trajectory of each uh, of um, galaxy and blue are outflow and uh, orange, uh, green, orange and red are in the disk part and blue is one of the uh, clump particle, clump gas particle. And by following the individual gas, we can observe that uh, how the gas moves in the different phase and uh, it, uh, it relates with the stars. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, so this result shows that the gas projection in different setups and uh, we can see that the strong correlation between the uh, position and the density. And also we can see that the population of each classes are, are varies by the setup. So these two shows the feedback. So and for strong feedback, 
uh, we can see the low population of dense gas, while also the uh, bold case, bold test case, the star formation region are located in the uh, spiral arm region because uh, this this is low bulge case, so uh, star formation is occurred in the clump, and these are not destroyed by the uh, potential of bulge. While the bulge only uh, bulge dominated disk are only have the uh, star formation region in the core, and yes. And now we are going to study about the PSD feature in different physical processes. So we plot the uh, location of gas and young stars. And this is the PSD of that result. And I presented with the different uh, feedback reason, and we can see that feedback uh, changed the peaks to right downward, which means that the so it decreases the size and also the uh, range is the dispersed reason, and that is occurred in the both spiral arm and the this region. And this shows the result of Burge. And in Burge case, we can see that the uh, strong Burge only changed the size of this small scale structure. So it, if, as, we saw, as we've seen before, it efficiently inhibits the for, uh, formation of the high density region. So but it does not affect on the large scale stru large structure. And for the t uh, temporal scale, we also analyzed using the PSD model suggested by Takela, and this is the result. And for the temporal result, also was similar to the special one. And as we saw, that star formation is suppressed by the feedback, and also by the disk, uh, also by the bulge. And we can see that the break time in PSD also moves to rise in the feedback, higher feedback, while the time break doesn't change. And now we connect this result, the Baron cycle connect, is connected with the PSD. So I, we measure that the time, the residential time of gas in non-star forming phase, and also we tested the break of the P PSD, and we found that uh, there are very good correlation between both. And this might this might uh, suggest that uh, since we can observe the temporal or special PSD in the galaxy, so we can uh, induce from that about the uh, gas cycle in the galaxy. So this PSD can be can shed line light on the barren cycle in the galaxy. This is the conclusion of the talk. Thank you for the listening. Thank you very much. Questions for Yunjin? Um, thanks for the talk. Um, so if I remember correctly, um, you were previously comparing the power spectrum density of star formation from different models or simulations. And uh, I think one of the panels is the universe machine. And there, the star formation rate histories were quite smooth. And supposedly, they are like uh, 
the averages or median values for gal different galaxies? Yes, so this, this might uh, show the average galaxy in some masses. Okay, so, uh, but for individual galaxies, they can get pretty um, noisy. And I was wondering if that's really a fair comparison with um, supposedly individual galaxies in fire? You mean, is it fa fair comparison with other um, for example, for the fire, uh, with the fair, uh, fire galaxies, um, they seem to be like individual galaxies, right? Yes, right. This is Junin, Junin simulation, so it should be. Yeah, so. Mm. Uh, but uh, actually, this is different time scale. This is Junin simulation, so it reaches more uh, higher. Uh, higher frequencies, so. Oh, so uh, the universe machine and the fire galaxies, they are shown in different x axis uh, but ranges? Here it's just the same, maybe you are right. Uh, it's not fair if we didn't count the same number of galaxies, but uh, yes, oh. uh, yes, this study is about uh, not the individual simulation, but just comparison of that, so. Okay, thanks. All right, any more questions? If, if not, let's thank the speaker again. <laughs> right, it's time for a break, and we return in 30 minutes.